She grew up on a fur farm. I have a friend up north who has a fox sanctuary. She was taking in a bunch of rescues from a fur farm. And uh, I saw Matilda with her three feet, and uh, I couldn't resist. So here she is. Can I hold you? Oh, my goodness. I can only hold you for a little bit longer. Yeah, and then you're going to be mad at me. And uh, her foot, do you know what happened? Severed off after she was born. It was hanging out of its cage. At fur farms, the uh, pens that they keep the foxes in are up off the ground a couple feet. So when she was a kid, foot was dangling, and it got severed off. Can you sit on here, or are you going to fly off the table? Might fly. Come on, yeah, precious girl. Oh, I see. This leg's even not. You're bowed. Oh, oh, she is very bowed, and she walks very plantigrade, so on her paw itself, not up on her toes. Yeah. I worry about arthritis, um, so that's something we'll just continue for the rest of her life. Oh, she's in such good body condition, though. Yes, she's a good eater. She's a very good, good eater. Good, good, good. She has great muscle. Good girl. Good girl. So all the Matilda is this beautiful silver color, and we call her Silver Fox. She's actually an actual, a melanistic version of a red fox. And so although she's beautiful and gorgeous, she's a red fox, just like the ones that we see here in North America. So what's it like owning a fox? <laughs> I mean, like, they can't make lovely pets, but no. they're gorgeous. So I understand why people would Absolutely. have them. Absolutely. Whenever people tell me they want a fox, I always say, well, let me see how I can talk you out of it. <laughs> so they're wonderful, You're but they're girl. so much work, yeah. So I am do more of the education bit. Yes. So they are yeah. not dogs. They are they're so... not dogs. They're not cats. She's by no means a wild fox, but she's also by no means pet quality. She's not from a breeder. Um, you know, this fad, domesticated foxes, you, you hear it all over. The most thing about a domesticated fox is that they live in a home. It's a mess. So foxes still have their wild instincts. My boys have an entire uh, enclosure about the uh, length of our house. It's indoors. We had to put an exhaust fan because it smells. Um, yes. We had to refinish yes. no the No one floors. realizes that these mm -hmm. animals, they have those scent glands. Oh, yeah. And you had to redo all the floors because they mm -hmm. peed or the chewed urine. them. Yeah. We had carpet for a year. We made it a year. She looks perfect. She looks absolutely great. So, oh, you're fussy. You want to go play? You can go down. There's the fox behavior. Yep. Yeah, and it's okay, go. though. I'm going to let her be a fox. Can I do the vaccine? I wonder if she'll just let me do it. So I'm going to give Matilda some vaccinations because she's going to be around a lot of other animals that could possibly get her sick. Oh, good. She's great. Yeah, she did great. Good girl. Yeah, dude, we're friends, huh? Can I be your friend forever? I love seeing the foxes. I understand that they're not the best of pets, but as a patient, I think they're they're pretty awesome. She looks perfect. Take her home and love her up. Thank you. Make her tame as much as you can. Yes. Uh -huh.